This video is going to show you how to create pop-up menus um, using Tekinta. So here we are, um, we are going to learn how to use pop-up menus. Now pop-up menus um, are these little menus like that, that traditionally we associate with the right mouse click, but you know, it, it can be other um, bound to other things. Um, so we're going to make this one where it pops up when I do a right mouse click and gives you an option of changing the label in there to either say goodbye or hello. Let's come over to our code here now. Um, so we've done the usual, we've imported to Kinta and we've created a window. Um, we've got the label in here that we're going to, um, whose text we're going to change around using our little pop-up menu and we're running the main loop. So let's actually look at how we create a pop-up menu now. So the first thing is we actually create the menu itself. So it's similar to what we're doing with the other menu before. Um, so let's see, we come into here and we say that first off we need to create a menu. So the pop-up menu equals um, just a menu and it's our name, we're going to call it a pop-up menu and it's a menu and it's going to belong in the root. Um, and remember we're going to have tear off zero because we don't want to be able to split this and drag it around. Um, now that we've got our little menu that we're going to put, we now, to put, now need to put our commands into it. So our first command is basically we're adding to the pop-up menu the command of label um, hello. So it's going to be there, that's right. And we're going to run the command hello, which we're going to deal with in a second up there. The other thing we're going to do is then have another one saying goodbye and the command of goodbye. Now, this is a little bit different because previously we then had to add this as a cascade into the menu bar up along the top there, but we're not using the menu bar, we're using the pop-up. So we just leave it as such, right? And I'll bring in these two functions because they're the same as the last time. Just basically click, clicking hello and clicking goodbye will result in the reconfiguration of the value for the text for our message um, label, which is here. Rightio. So now we've done that, what we need to do is we now need to actually make this menu pop up. So how we do that first off is we've got to get the event handler to know that we've done a right mouse click. So down here, I'm going to bind the here in the message label which takes up this entire area here i'm going to bind the button three which is the um, right mouse button and we're going to run a function called pop-up now this is the important thing for the actual menu so we come up here we created our function now um, and here's pop up there and in here we are wanting to run the pop-up menu which is We've created the values of down here and we've added the commands into it. But unlike previously, where we had it cascade and then tied to the menu bar, what we do instead is that we post the menu to a location. And what is that location? Well, that location is we get from we actually get from the event, which is passed from the bind. So the right mouse click um, will pass an event. And that vent um, ha is, is a object which has particular values. And one of those values is X root, and one of those values is Y root, i.e. where on the X and the Y have I just clicked. So we're going to post the value to event X, Y, and we're gonna post the menu, sorry, to so the event X, Y, and X, uh, and, uh, X root and Y root. So my right mouse click will say, at that point, I want you to post our little menu that we've called pop-up menu and we've created here. And as such, that's what we're going to create. So let's see if that runs properly. And here we are, and right mouse click, hello, yes, right mouse click, goodbye. And you can see that the pop-up menu moves around the screen according to where I am right mouse clicking my mouse. There we go.